this video, I'm going to show you the sneakiest bomb concept in the game. Something you can use to pretty much bomb every coverage in this game with a route that you might not have thought a lot about. And I'm going to show you in this video why it is so, so powerful. Now, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. Also, I want to let you know that in today's video, we're talking about the, about the trips tight end formation. You can find this formation in the New England Patriots offensive playbook. One thing I wanted to also uh, let you know about is that if you want to get my full trips tight end ebook, as well as all of my other ebooks, I've got 14 offensive and defensive ebooks that I've put together over the course of the Madden 22 season. If you want to get access to all of those for just $10 a month, just join the Patreon. There's going to be a link in the description below, but by signing up for the Patreon, you're not only going to get access to all my ebooks, but you'll also get access to exclusive tips that I don't share publicly on YouTube, as well as Q&A platforms, messaging, uh, direct one-on-one -on -one messaging, and all of that stuff. So I'd really encourage you to sign up for that. There's a link in the description below where you can do that. Now, guys, I'm super, super excited to share this concept with you because here's why. Um, we talk about the user in Madden 22. One of the things you're going to find out about the way people tend to use her is, especially when talking about bombs, and you could do this out of any play in the formation. We're going to talk today about two of them. I'm going to talk about uh, Pat's Y in, and I'm also going to talk about Drive Post. And then last but not least, I'm going to talk about uh, just a play that you can, you know, one of my favorite plays, which is PA Counter Go. Now, um, when you set this bomb up that I'm show you, you might be familiar with this. I put a video out earlier in the year that it basically looks something like this, right? Something like this right here. And this is probably, I would argue, the best one play score in the game because there's not really any coverage that guards it. Of course, as I say that, the cover four does guard it, but I promise you the cover four doesn't typically guard this. What we're going to show you in this video, you'll see that it really won't be able to guard it no matter what. I think it's because I'm backed off out of the cover four. But anyways, you see how he takes that false step. My guy's just a little slow, and he gets over the top. Now, we can easily bomb cover three, cover two, match, man, all of those other coverages, and I'll show that real quick. And then we'll talk about the problem um, that this can create in another bomb uh, concept from this formation. So you see here, what I like about PA Counter Go is it's it's got the best running back blocking animation probably in the game. You can pick up pretty much every blitz just by the play action. However, the other thing that I wanted to just quickly share with you about this is another concept. And this is a bomb concept. I think that, honestly, I think Civil was the guy that first started doing this in particular concept. He wasn't doing it out of trips, but it does apply to trips. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So we're going to put a post there, we're going to put a streak, we're going to put a slant, and then we're going to put a wheel route to the running back. And what this is going to do, especially for those cover four defenses, is it's going to help us e more easily hold it. Um, and again, for whatever reason, just because I'm backed off out of cover fours is probably why this is giving me so much trouble. Um, so let me just show it out of cover three. But but anyways, he popularized popularized this concept out of bunch tight end. I've talked a little bit about this one. Um, I personally don't like this one as much because the routes you see, see there the post is open, but the wheel kind of runs into the slant. And for me, that was a big turnoff. I didn't like that at all, really, about this concept was basically what I, because what, what happens is what, as soon as your opponent sees the wheel route to the back, they almost instinctively will run to the post. Well, because these two underneath routes will run into each other, I found that I was just kind of having a busted play. Like if I got the bomb, the bomb was great, but I had kind of a busted play. I felt like I, you know, if, if the bomb wasn't there, if they used the bomb, yeah, I had the slant, but nobody really looks, you know, checks down there. At least at first they're watching to see if they got the bomb. So that's where this um, new concept that I've uh, been thinking about talking about for a little while was started to develop. And in this video, we're just going to share it with you. It's real simple. Um, it's basically everything is simply the same. The one major difference is instead of putting the running back on a wheel and having him run into a slant, all we're going to do is we're just going to simply put the running back on a ghost. And the reason I love, love, love this concept is because not only because I think it actually does do a little bit better of a job at beating some of the quarter type concepts, but it also has got a phenomenal, probably one of the best checkdowns in this game. And I'll show you why. So, 
So you'll see here, this is cover four drop. Notice that that inside quarter, um, he does still come back on me. I guess practice mode is just being a little fluky. I think it honestly has to do with the speed of the Buccaneers. But against uh, cover three, and, and, and again, you're, you're more likely going to see like cover three and, and all that anyway. Cover three, cover two. You're not going to see a lot of cover four because then you can just throw you know, corner routes. But against cover three, you'll see here it's even more open than it was before. Wide open against cover three. And then obviously against cover two. We'll show cover four one more time in just a second. And I'll put somebody faster in there. But you'll see. Same basic concept, right? But now you have a great check down. This is cover two and just crucifies cover two. I mean, just absolutely crucifies cover two. So they can't run cover two. They can't run cover three. They can't run cover three with deep halves and be successful. They basically are sucked into having to run a cover four or having to use of this. The thing is with this concept in particular is I have noticed that they really don't use her a ton, to be honest with you. Um, now, let me show you cover, and the reason why is because there's no wheel route to the back. The, what the what this, a ghost route will instinctively tell your user, or the, the other team's user player, is it's going to say to him, they're going to throw underneath. That's what it communicates by having a ghost route. So they're looking for the underneath. So they might take, the guarantee you, they will take the slant a lot more than you think, and then you can hit them over the top with something like this. Now, again, this quarter's playing out of its mind. I'm not sure if they ghost patched it or what, but it is playing out of its mind in this video. Uh, but anyways, let me let me show you something else. So let's go to Mike Woods 3, which, again, you know, you're not going to see a lot of 335 normal cover 4 drop. At least I haven't seen a lot of that. Okay, so this is um, – let me make sure this is right here. Yeah, cover three invert, as you can see. Okay, so it's the same concept, except now we're using the ghost route. And what you'll notice is that, see how see how he just sits on that ghost route. Literally, he won't move. And as you can see, this bomb becomes a possibility. Now, again, I talked about this earlier. Why is this bomb so good as a check down? It's so good as a check down, to use cover four drop as an example, because if you don't get the bomb nothing it's not really that big of a deal right because all you have to do is make a read between your slant and your ghost and most of the time the ghost route will hold almost every underneath zone on the sideline so you put the defense in a position where they can't really honestly be right it's very difficult to cover the ghost and the slant combo and i've talked about that in the previous video uh when i was sharing my kind of my favorite concept right now in trips but this is just a, I mean, it's just a great check down. Notice here, he just holds all the zones. And as you can see, I can easily, as soon as he has outside leverage, just outside pass lead on the sideline, and you're going to be able to hit this. This is, again, when you think about what the user is going to do, and I think that's really important when you're putting your plays together. Let's just assume that they're, say, they're going to sit on the slam for just long enough and they're going to peel uh, to go get the post. Let's say you're playing someone that's got a really good user. Well, again, look at this. All we have to do is just take our check down, right? And and hope Jair Alexander doesn't do something like that. And I'll show it to you again. That was a little bit of fluke because of his ability. Now, again, I know a lot of people might use acrobats, but if you know you could aggressive catch that, I don't have deep out elite. Like there's some reasons as to why that's occurring. Okay. But, I mean, the beauty of this is, okay, they're going that way. Now, look, I just wait on the sideline, pass lead down and away. And, again, Jair Alexander's making me look foolish because he's got an ability. You could just easily aggressive catch that. Um, you know, but anyways, that's the idea. So, that's the concept. And it's it, it really is, I'm telling you, you know, it, it, it really is a game changer because – they can't, they can't just vo vacate the middle of the field. I feel like when you're running this out a bunch tight end or something, a lot of times, and see how that outside flat can go, and then you can just do that too. That's another thing I wanted to show you. So the pockets just get, it, it really does pull the zones and put you in a position where I think is very advantageous because like something like this where the whole middle of the field is open because their user is going to vacate it and try to go cover that one play score, well, that's fine, but now, and we still are only sending out four routes, 
But watch this. So here, and then watch watch this playmaker. I'm just going to playmaker to the left. And now look, the running back is going to be able to work the whole middle of the field. So to me, it's just a great way to have a check down read attached to one of the best bomb concepts uh, in this game. And I, I, I'm, I'm just telling you, this is just something that I think, you know, is very, very much, much so one of the better concepts uh, in this game. And here you see that time we got a little better animation on that against cover four. Let me show you one more time against cover four and then we'll let you go. But the beauty of this is if your bomb is not there, it's really not the end of the world. You don't just have to throw it away. You don't just have to roll it out and pray, right? You have options. You you can you can playmaker your ghost route. You can playmaker your slant route up if you wanted to. You can hit your slant route on the sideline, which is very honestly probably the best way to do it. Um, and then of course you can try to thread the needle there. And, and again, Adrian Amos is and the Packers secondary is just goaded, I guess, and regs. But um, you know you see the the concept. And um, you know again, the wheel is okay. You could still do that if you want to. I'll show you that it doesn't make that big of a difference. If you hear cover four, it really doesn't. He's still able to get back on that. So, and again, this is, I think it's just the Packers secondary, to be quite honest with you, because in what I bomb cover four all the time. So I'm not too worried about that. But if, 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 you, if it doesn't look open, then don't throw it, right? So if it doesn't look open, okay, now I can sit and throw my check down, which I'm still getting 10 to 15 yards. So, Anyways, I just wanted to share this concept, this principle with you. I think that the ghost route is very underestimated, and I'm going to start adding it more into my arsenal. I grabbed a two other plays just in case you're in regs. So if you run the play Pats Y in, you could basically do the same theory um, with this running back route here. You're going to notice he's going to basically curl up just like a ghost route, and what you'll see, and again, cover four is going to make me look a little foolish, but... You see the idea, the concept, the, 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 as long as that quarter holds, you'll be fine. And typically that quarter will hold in mutt. It, I guess it doesn't in regs right now, but it does hold in mutt. I, trust me. Okay. But then you also have, like I said, cover three. So here's Pat's way in against cover three. Notice against zone, he's just going to curl up just like that. So you don't have to worry about it. And as you can see, Miller gets wide open over the top. Just got to maybe possession catch that. Put deep out of lead on this player. And he'll catch it every time. Or let's say you have outside apprentice, but you don't have backfield master. Well, then you can go to the play drive post. Another one of my favorite concepts you'll see here. He goes out. You got your slant ghost concept, and then you have your bomb over the top. If it's not there, okay, we check it down, and we keep the, we keep the offense on schedule. Okay, so. Just wanted to share that with you. Let me know what you thought of the video. If you want to get the full ebook on Trips Tied In, learn how to literally just have probably one of the most fun offenses that I've ever ran this year. And then also, we've got a ton of stuff on the defensive side of the ball. We've been labbing so hard. We just released a brand new defensive ebook over at the Patreon. If you want to get all 14 ebooks for one price of $10, be sure to join the Patreon. There's a link in the description below where you can sign up. And again, it's just uh, 10 bucks to sign up.